Hi, my name is Jackson and I'm a regular kid. I play the trumpet. I play the guitar and I love baseball. I also have type 1 diabetes. I got it when I was three. Diabetes is when your pancreas, which is right here, doesn't produce any insulin. Insulin makes sugar into energy, which is what we need to live. So I test my blood eight or 10 times a day. And then I give myself insulin that the pancreas can't produce using the pump. My mom volunteers for JDRF, and one of the projects they support is something called the artificial pancreas. I have lots of questions about it, because it could change my life, and it could make me sort of bionic. I think that's really cool. If this is true, I can tell all my friends and teachers about it, and they will be excited to learn too. My mom told me about Dr. Aaron Kowalski. He's one of JDRF's team members heading up this project. Hey, Dr. Kowalski! Call me Aaron. Jackson here. I have some questions about the artificial pancreas. What do you want to know? What is it? Well, you know what an insulin pump is, right? Yes, I have one. It's right here. I used to give myself shots, but now I get insulin from the pump. Have you ever heard of the continuous glucose monitor? What's that? Well, I wear one myself. See? It's on the back of my arm. And instead of sticking my fingers a lot, it tells me my glucose all the time. Wait a minute. You have diabetes too? Yeah, I found out I had type 1 when I was 13. My brother was diagnosed with type 1 when he was 3. That thing on your arm, it tells you how much insulin you need? Someday soon, the sensors are going to talk to the pumps, and the pump will give the right amount of insulin at the right time automatically. We'll be bionic. Where can I get one? Well, they're not ready yet. We're still testing them. Do you want to meet some great kids who are taking part in this exciting research? Yeah. The things that I like to do are dancing, I like to do soccer, I like to run around in my yard, I like to go to the park in my neighborhood and play guardian tag. Claire was seven when she got the continuous glucose monitor last summer. I wasn't sure if I wanted it, because I said to Claire, it's another sight, right? It's another sight, it's another something on her. And she's small and she's young, you know? Um, but she actually told me she wanted it, and so we did it. And now I really would have, would, would not want to have to manage diabetes without it. It gives me a lot, of, lot more information. The thing I like about the, the pump and the continuous glucose monitor is that you have more control over the diabetes. You, you are controlling the insulin and the blood sugar rather than controlling the kid to meet the shot. When I grow up, I, I kind of want to be like an overall guy. I kind of want to like do a bunch of different stuff, like travel the world, maybe write some books, do some photography. I got the pump when I was five years old. It was like one of the like I was like one of the first kids to like you know like try it and stuff, and um, it really 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 like helped me like be more independent and have more control of myself. When they're able to get the monitor and the pump to work more closely together, um, I think that it will be as good as a cure. This will allow for uh, his body to dispense enough insulin uh, so that he will not suffer the long-term impacts of high or low blood sugars. I'm Michelle. I'm six year old. I had diabetes since I was three. I want to be a nurse too, so I can help people. The continuous glucose monitor has helped the entire family help take care of Michelle and her diabetes. It's allowed my eight-year-old son to help us monitor her blood sugars and to alert us to anything that needs action. Life has gotten more normal. You know, we're back to eating normal foods and eating when she's hungry since we've gotten the insulin pump. And having the continuous glucose monitor has taken away a lot of stress. She can go on a play date without me being with her so she can, and I don't have to worry about what her blood numbers are. The hardest part of diabetes is the fact that it's 24 seven. It's all the time. There's no vacations, there's no breaks, there's no time that you, can't, that you can really go without thinking about it and managing it. It has to be managed all the time, and that's the part that's hard, because you get tired. I'm here today because I wanted to like, give more information to people. I want to like, help spread this idea, because it has helped me so much in life. It's changed how I live with this. We think it's very important to be in involved with the JDRF. Um, in order to, number one, educate parents um, and um, children that have it, uh, as well as to, to continue to 
uh, raise funds and increase uh, awareness uh, for everybody. We have supported the JDRF by participating in the walk every year, of which Miss Claire is the team captain of Claire's Roses, which is our walk team name. I'm here today to let other families know that when their child is diagnosed with diabetes, that it's not the end of the world, that life will continue back to normal, and you adapt. You just, diabetes becomes part of your life, just like brushing teeth is part of your life. Advice to a mom who was just diagnosed to hang on to your hat. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be quite a ride, but you'll make it. You'll make it, and it's a roller coaster ride, but you will do it. It's your kid, you'll take care of them. You'll make it work. And your kid can do everything they did before diabetes. And you know, sometimes I do this sort of check with myself, like, would I tell her she can't do that if she didn't have diabetes? And if the answer is like, if the answer is I wouldn't say no, then I need to say yes, and I need to find a way for the diabetes to work with it. I, I'm never gonna tell her she can't do it something because she has diabetes. I would definitely have to say that diabetes won't stop your life. If you try as hard as you can, you could be who you want to be. You could do what you want to do. You could live life the way you want to live it and just be who you want to be. When the artificial pancreas comes, when the pump acts on the information given to it by the continuous glucose monitor, it will be huge because you won't have to be thinking about it all the time. It would be amazing. I wouldn't have to worry as much about her numbers. It would be as close to a cure as possible. That 24-7 thought process can go and, you know, your mind can have some room for some other things. <laughs> so we have sensors and we have pumps, but the last thing we need is the software that'll tell the pump the right amount of insulin to give it the right time. And what's amazing is we have some of the world's best math and engineer folks working on solving that problem. Those kids are great. I want to be on their team. Where can I sign up? JDRF.org.